Allah is saying, if Allah, Allah said, Allah said, Ya Isa, O Isa, I am causing you to die, mutawafika. Wafat in Arabic, guys, means death. Wafat, that's the root word. Wafat, mutawafika, I am causing you, inni mutawafika, I'm causing you to die. And I'm lifting thee to myself. Ilayya means to me, to myself. So here's the one million dollar question to the Muslims who are listening. You Muslims always say Allah is outside of his creation. So when uh, Allah caused Isa to die and then he lifted him up to himself. Are you saying that uh, according your ayah is saying, your Quran is saying that now Isa, who, is, <laughs> who you claim to be only a mere human, a mere prophet, are you saying that he's now outside the creation with Allah? Because that's what the ayah is saying. Do you agree with this ayah or is that this ayah da'if? So some Muslims who are liars and deceived, they say, well, it means lift up. No, I'm going to say that Allah has uh, OCD. Allah has OCD and he's saying, Inni mutawafika, I'm raising thee up and I'm raising thee up twice. Here's another one. Chapter 5. Chapter 5, ayah 117. Look what it says. Allah is having a conversation with Jesus, right? And look what it says here in the Arabic. فلما, so Jesus and Allah are, are talking and now Jesus is going to answer Allah, right? Allah is asking question to Jesus who they claim to be Isa and look what Isa is going to say to Allah. فَلَمَّا See, it's in the past. When you Allah caused me to die. But when you Allah caused me to die. Do you see it? فَلَمَّا Again, tawaffa, mutawafika. Same root word, wafat. But when you, Allah, caused me to die, Isa is saying to Jesus, how do we know this is Isa? Because if we go back, we'll see, it's Allah talking to Isa. Chapter 19, ayah 33. This is supposedly Isa, and supposedly this Islamic counterpart, this satanic counterpart of Jesus, Isa, who they call Isa, he's talking as a baby from the cradle. Again, he's talking as a baby, guys. So know what, what it's being basically said in context. And uh, so the baby Isa is talking. Look what the baby Isa is saying. And peace be upon me the day I was born. So he was born. He's talking as a baby from the cradle. And the day I die, and the day I shall be raised up alive. So when he grows up, he's going to die. Well, that's what the ayah is saying before, right? But you cause me to die, Allah. And Allah is confirming, I caused you to die as a grown up. And the day I die as a grown-up, and the day I'm raised up alive. Muhammad actually believed that Jesus did die on the cross and he resurrected on the third day. Muhammad believed that. The Quran confirms it, but the Muslims much later had to lie because they know, no, when they studied the Bible, they started to study the Bible, they see that Muhammad caused a disaster in the Quran. Muhammad is saying, uh, you know, uh, the, the scriptures are, are between my hands. Look. Chapter 3, Ayah 3. When Muhammad is saying, right, here, he has sent down upon thee the book with the truth, confirming what's before. But the Arabic says, Between his hands. The hands. Okay. So, and they have to lie in the translations. It does say hands. Between his hands. So the Muhammad had access to the Torah and the gospel. Did you catch it? Okay, you see. O believers, by your God's helpers as Jesus, Isa, it just says Isa, so why, why are they calling it Jesus? Anyway, Mary's son said to the apostles, who will be my helpers unto God? The apostles said, we will be your helpers of God and party of the children of Israel believed and a party disbelieved. So we confirmed those who believed against their enemies and they became masters, the uppermost. Same chapter 61, Ayah 14. Who are the helpers? That's the one million dollar question. Chapter 61, Ayah 14. Watch. Tafsir al-Qurtubi. Uh-oh. Tafsir al-Qurtubi. Same chapter, same Ayah. Same chapter, same Ayah. 61, 14. 61, 14. Watch. Who are the helpers? And they were sent by Jesus. وَكَانَ الَّذِي بَعَثَهُمْ Isa, Who they call Jesus. مِنْ الْحَوَارِيِّينَ The helpers, the apostles of Jesus. وَالْأَدْبَعَ And the followers. بُطْرُسْ <laughs> Peter, Simon Peter, Butros, Wabulus, and Paul to Rome. Butros, Wabulus, Bulus meaning Paul, Ila Romia, to Rome. Oh, oh, 
oh, oh, oh, this is Al-Qurtubi for the same chapter, same ayah. Ya Muslimin, right. why are you always attacking Paul? While this ayah that is on the screen is explaining who the helpers are. The helpers of Jesus, those are the apostles of Jesus, are Paul. So the Quran is talking about Paul, according to Al-Qurtubi tafsir. Wow! Here, my friend here. Qal ibn Ishaq, وَكَانَ الَّذِي بَعَثَهُمْ This is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi, guys. وَكَانَ الَّذِي بَعَثَهُمْ عِيسَى مِنَ الْحَوَارِيِّينَ وَالْأَدْبَاعَ بُطْرُسْ وَبُولُسْ إِلَى رُومِيَّةَ This is the same part, guys, that I put here on the screen. And let me show you guys that we are not lying here. Copy. I copy that part. Look what it says. Copy, paste. And they were sent by Jesus from among the disciples and followers Peter and Paul to Rome. وَكَانَ الَّذِي بَعَثَهُمْ عِيسَى مِنَ الْحَوَارِيِّ ولدبع بطرس وبولس إلى رومية. Let me play the sound. وكان الذي بعثهم عيسى من الحواريين والأتباع بطرس وبولس إلى رومية. Did you hear it, Paulus? So did we lie? Did we lie? No. Let me play it again, guys, and listen carefully. I'm going to highlight when when the bot is talking. So listen carefully. وك وكان الذي بعثهم عيسى من الحواريين والأتباع بطرس وبولس إلى رومية. Did you hear it? Butrus wa Paulus. Aha. Did we lie? No, we didn't. This is Tafsir al-Qurtubi for chapter 61, ayah 14. Did Allah do to make it appear that he died? Let me warn you. And my language is sometimes very harsh because that's the only language some people can understand. Don't come with this nonsense because it is not only pathetic nonsense, it is absolutely sinful to say that Allah, when I billah min hadha, Allah calls someone else to take the appearance of Nabi Isa alayhi salam, and that innocent man, innocent because he never claimed to be the Messiah, he was crucified. Wait for judgment day with that. Nonsense! Pathetic nonsense. It's not there in the Quran, it's in your imagination. That's why it is. And yet it took the world of Islam by storm. What a brainwash Ummah we are today. Well then what happened? Well, then why don't you go to the Quran? Let the Quran explain rather than go on fancy flights of imagination. You're going to tell Allah on Judgment Day you caused that man to assume the appearance of someone? And he who never claimed to be the Messiah, he was crucified. That is an act of injustice. You attributing injustice to Allah? What foolishness. But where are the scholars who will correct this foolishness? That's why I have to be so forceful in my language. Allah took his soul. They thought he was dead. They took down the body. They put the body in the cave. They sealed the cave. Allah returned the soul. As simple as that. Nobody knew that the body, that the soul was returned. And Allah raised him. But let me warn you one more time. If you stick with this theory of substitution, you are going to be in a pathetic state on judgment day. Let me warn you one more time. This is a simple explanation.